Thanks for joining me again for a new day in the Word. Uh, the Lord said in Genesis 2.18, it is not good for man to be alone. And so he created Eve as a helpmate, as a counterbalance for, for Adam, because he knew it was not good for uh, man to exist as uh, an island, to, to be by himself. And yet what we see going on in the world today is really an epidemic almost of loneliness. Uh, statistics show that worldwide, one in four people feel fairly or very alone. And so what do we do about that? I mean, how can we combat loneliness? Because loneliness comes with serious um, physical and emotional issues also. So what can we do about loneliness. Well, the cure for loneliness is um, to have um, good, healthy relationships. And the Apostle Paul understood that during a time where he could have felt alone. Um, the passage that we're going to look at today is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, beginning with verse 9 through 18. And this was a time in the Apostle Paul's life where he was in his second Roman imprisonment for preaching the gospel. Um, and um, he knew that this time his imprisonment was going to end uh, in his martyrdom. So let's take a look at what the Apostle Paul said in this passage. And he was writing to Timothy and he said, Do your best to come to me quickly. For Demas, because he loved this world, has deserted me and has gone to Thessalonica. Crescens has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you because he is helpful to me in my ministry. I sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak that I left with Carpus at Troas and my scrolls, especially the parchments. Alexander the metal worker did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him for what he has done. You too should be on your guard against him because he strongly opposed our message. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me, the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. So the Apostle Paul understood uh, the need for relationships. And, and first and foremost, the most important relationship we can have to combat loneliness is to have a relationship with God. Paul understood that. Everyone else had abandoned him in his time of need. But listen to what he said. He said, the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength. And, and it's the same with you. Uh, God is always with you. Um, he will never leave you or forsake you. But in order to experience that closeness that you need with God so that you never feel alone. You must have a relationship with God. Remember, we're talking about relationships here because those are what combat loneliness. So you have to have a relationship with God. And when I say that, I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about a belief system. I'm not talking about a set of rules, do's and don'ts. I'm not talking about human traditions, but I'm talking about a, uh, a personal daily relationship with the God of the universe. And that's what makes Christianity unique is because Scripture tell us, tells us that we can have that personal relationship with God. And it begins by putting our faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And then we need to cultivate, though, that relationship because a relationship with God is just like any other relationship. Um, it takes effort and you get out of it what you put in to it. So we need to start by having a personal daily relationship with God. Now, secondly, though, to combat loneliness, we also need to have relationships with people. Um, 
because you notice uh, the Lord said it is not good for man to be alone, meaning that we also need to have those human relationships. We weren't created to be islands. And, and, and I know that people can be very difficult. I, I know sometimes people can be so irritating. And so what's happening uh, in, in the world today is we are self-isolating. We are withdrawing from human relationships. Um, and what is taking place uh, uh, with uh, human relationships are um, things like texting and uh, uh, social media and uh, gaming. Um, but those can never replace true human connection. Um, and as the world continues to self-isolate, it's going to be feeling more and more alone. And then it's going to be experiencing more and more of those dire uh, effects of loneliness uh, to health and uh, physical health and, and emotional health. Um, just to show you kind of where we've, we've come to as a society is there's a lot of t-shirts out there that are popular now that, that talk about how people just don't want to be around other human beings. Like there's one that says, um, uh, it says, I don't hate people. I, I just feel better when they're not around. Um, and, and so we, we need to get by that. Um, and what we need to do is we need to find people that we can have good, healthy relationships with. And one of the good places to start is with the family of God, because it's there that you can find good, healthy relationships. Guys, um, Paul understood that. And, and that's the reason that even though the Lord was by his side and he knew God would never leave him, we also see in, in this passage where uh, Paul was reaching out to Timothy and asking Timothy to come to him. Um, Luke was with him. He also told Timothy, bring Mark with you. Because Paul knew he was uh, coming toward the end of his life. And we can see in this passage, sense in this passage, that he wanted to have those that he cared about and that cared about him around him. Not only because they would provide help for him, uh, but also because uh, he just wanted that strength that came from those good, healthy human relationships. And, and I believe that's also one of the reasons that Jesus gathered around him 12 disciples. I mean, primarily it was so that he could speak into their lives, reveal to them the, the plan of salvation so that they could carry on his work after he ascended back to the Father. But you also have to remember, Jesus was not only 100% divine, he was 100% human. And he too needed to have those uh, human relationships and the strength that came from them. And we even see him having um, a, an even deeper relationship with several of those disciples, and that was Peter, James, and John. So if the Apostle Paul needed those human relationships, and if the Lord Jesus himself needed those human relationships, so do we. But they need to be good, healthy relationships if they're going to combat loneliness. And guys, one of the, the great places to start to find uh, good, healthy relationships is with the family of God. And you see, through our relationship with God, we become a family, a worldwide family of believers who are to be there to help and encourage and lift one another up and to be there for each other when we are struggling. And, you know, at New Day Fellowship, we pride ourselves on having a family atmosphere. So if you are feeling lonely, if you're feeling disconnected, we would invite you to become part of our family at New Day Fellowship. But most of all, I encourage you to have a relationship with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, thanks for joining me again for A New Day in the Word, and we invite you to become part of our family at New Day Fellowship. Uh, we meet every Sunday morning at 1030 at 115 North Fayette Street in Shippensburg. So we look forward to getting to know you and having a relationship with you.